During the time we have left, I want to talk right down to earth in a language that everybody here can easily understand. This is how you play and read eighth note rock beats. The first set of grooves are going to be made of eighth notes and quarter notes. Have a look at the picture. You see that quarter notes are a black dot with a stem on it. They're worth one complete beat. So in a bar of music, you would count a quarter note or quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Eighth notes are two notes equally spaced over one beat. So in other words, a quarter note can be split equally into two eighth notes. That means that in a standard bar of music that has four beats in it, you can fit eight eighth notes in it. And the way you count those is one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Someone's calling me. One and two and three and four and... Sorry, it's probably a student. Let me, let me get it. Now, in an eighth note rock, Beat. The eighth notes are written on the top line of the stave, marked as an X, but they're still joined like eighth notes, and they are the timekeeper for the rest of the groove. Okay, so have a look in the picture, you can see there's eighth notes written on the top line. Now, all you're going to do is play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and repetitively, consistently, and counting out loud, like I just did. The next thing we'll do is put the snare drum into this. The snare drum is going to be written on the third space of the stave, and as you can see in the picture, it lines up directly under counts two and four. So as you're playing the hi-hat and counting it out loud, you want to drop a snare drum note on the left hand with the hi-hat on counts two and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and like this. So that's going to be the consistent pattern for the first set of grooves. The hi-hat and snare drum are going to be in exactly the same place, exactly the same counting. So now we're going to add the bass drum in. I've written bass drum on the bottom space of the stave, and I'm putting it under counts one and three. So that means that when you play one on the hi-hat, you also need to drop a bass drum on that count as well with your right foot. Do it slowly and this is what it would look like. Okay, so you can play that basic rock pattern now. So the next step is to add more bass drum into that. We can put a bass drum under any one of those hi-hats and create a new bass drum pattern. So in the picture that I'm uh, showing you now, I'm putting a bass drum on the one and count and the three and count. So that rhythm is using eighth notes on the bass drum and it's just going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So basically if you go slow enough, and your hi-hat is consistent enough, all you have to do is drop the bass drum under the appropriate hi-hat. Does that make sense? And that's how you read rock beats. So the set of grooves that I've uh, given you, you now have the ability to go through and systematically work through all of those bass drum patterns. So this is how the pitched groove would sound. The most important part of this whole lesson and the best piece of advice I can give you is never, ever, ever trust a left-handed person 
to do an online drumming video. They just do everything weird. They even write their music weird. Ignore.